These are the kind of guys you like to smack in the ass. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. example is Micron up in Syracuse, where they're building one of those fabs. Invest and they're building, they're investing, Micron investing $100 billion to build them. It's the kind of investment that won't, won't just lift up labor, it's going to lift up everybody. It's going to grow the economy. They want to get rid of it. They want to get rid of it. They want to get rid of that. Look, why? Cheaper labor overseas, man. Cheaper labor. There's one more thing Trump and his Republican friends want to do. They want another giant tax cut for the wealthy. Now, I know some of you guys are tempted to think it's macho guy. I'll tell you what, man. When I was in Scranton, I used to, we used to have a little trouble going down the plot once in a while. <laughs> for green reasons. But I'm serious. These are the kind of guys you like to smack in the ass. <laughs> I'm serious. Donald Trump has no character. He doesn't give a damn about the Latino community. He's failed businessman. He's, he only cares about the billionaire friends he has and accumulating wealth for those at the top. You know, he says immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country. Give me a break. He wants to do away with the birthright citizenship. Who the hell has said that in the last hundred years? And just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. Well, let me tell you something. I don't, I, I don't know the Puerto Rican that, that I know, or Puerto Rico where I'm in my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of Latinos is unconscionable, and it's un-American. It's totally contrary to everything we've done, everything we've been. hundred and fifty million people are not garbage. I can tell you who the real garbage is, but we won't say that. All right, guys. Go. All right, guys, guys, guys. Pull camera, pull camera. Right here, keep commenting. Night, night. President Trump, you said the other day that the military could be used on electric tanks. Do you more specific about what that would look like? Any questions? There are things you said that you promised to install a public health agency that you would explain that after? I can't. You have to speak louder. Well, we'll work with him, and he's a very talented guy. He wants women's health. He wants health for people, and we're going to work with him. He's a very, very talented guy. He's a friend of mine. I think the Democrats have done a very poor job. We're leading in every in every state. Uh, we're leading big, and I think that the comment made by really both of them, because there are really two of them. Uh, about being garbage, maybe 250 million people. Uh, they shouldn't be talking. That's like deplorable for Hillary. This is the deplorable for Hillary. 
And uh, I think this is worse, actually. For Joe Biden to make that statement, it's really a disgrace. You said the other day that the military could be used, but the military would have the hard time to use on election day if necessary. Can you explain what you meant by that? I don't think they'll have to be used. I think we're going to have a big victory. And I think 250 million people in this country are going to be very happy because we're going to bring the country back. We're a nation in decline, very, very serious decline. And we're going to bring our country back. Did you know that Elon Musk was in close contact with President Bush? Did you know about this? Did you know about Elon Musk at all? No, I don't know. Elon, Elon is a great guy. He's one of our geniuses, and we have to protect our geniuses. We have to take care of our geniuses. There aren't too many of them. Yes, please. No, I love Puerto Rico, and Puerto Rico loves me. I don't know. I don't know anything about a comedian. I just, I love Puerto Rico. Nobody's done more for Puerto Rico than me. I, I took care of them when they had the big hurricanes, and nobody, nobody gets along better with Puerto Rico and the Puerto Rican people than me. They love me and I love them. Go ahead. What do I want? I don't know anything about the comedian. I don't know who he is. I've never seen him. Uh, I heard he made a statement, but it was just a statement that he made. He's a comedian. What can I tell you? I know nothing about him. I don't know why he's there. You put comedians up, and uh, I guess he went on earlier in the show. I don't know who he is. I don't know, but I think he's a terrific guy. I think he was treated very unfairly. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. President Trump, you, you, uh, you asked for law enforcement to investigate in Pennsylvania. If they find no evidence of cheating, will you accept the result if you lose? Well, I guess they had uh, quite a few ballots, 2,600 ballots, where the same person was signing right. them. But if they find no evidence of cheating, will you accept the results? Of Pennsylvania, sure. Oh, if they find no evidence of cheating anywhere else, that's the results. I hope that's going to be the case. Win, lose, or draw, I hope that's going to be the case. Now, listen, I have to do something because Brett Favre is a great guy. He just endorsed me, and he's very important at this moment. I mean, you know, he's got uh, he's got a little problem for himself, and I thought it was very brave that he came out, and I want to go over and see Brett Favre. We're all going together, I assume. You're going over. I'm going to make a speech. We're going to then try and beat the weather out because we have some bad weather coming in. But I just wanted to let you know that 250 million people, that's what I think the real number is for making America great again. 250 million, the real number. They don't think in terms of garbage, okay? They don't use terms like that. And it's a shame. And Joe Biden should be ashamed of himself if he knows what he's even doing. And she should be ashamed because she shouldn't let him do it. She's the vice president, but I assume she's acting as the president. She should never have let that happen.